Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you some of the knives I'm taking to the 2019 Blade Show. These are a matching integral set of kitchen knives that I started nearly a year ago. They were actually forged and started in my old shop and then I finished them up here in the new shop for the 2019 Blade Show. These knives have been incredibly challenging just for the fact that they're both they're Damascus, they're both integral, but this one, especially because it's a double or a full integral, which means that this pommel piece is integral also to the rest of the knife. It has a, one on the bottom and one on the top, which is something I've never done before. I've always done one with an integral part on the front. And uh, it was difficult to keep that in line and symmetrical. And then also to put scales in between the two pieces and have that look like it's one piece of wood. So that was a great challenge. Um, and they were a great break from our production work because we've been so focused on getting axes done since we moved into the shop about eight months ago. So I have not even been able to make custom knives like this. This is the first set of high-end custom knives I've made since last August. So it was a great creative release for me. Um, one thing that I particularly really enjoyed um, about this set and more specifically on this chef's knife was being able to grind or I like to think of it as carving. If you think about grinding as carving, it actually helps you mentally grind how you want to grind for me anyways and a lot of other people. So I've, I really enjoyed carving into this integral bolster. I like taking a chunk of metal and then being able to carve different shapes and geometries into it. So it was fun to take a small wheel and shape feather in this bolster into the blade there and then have multiple radiuses swooping around the integral bolster there. So that was really enjoyable. And then other than that, my favorite, favorite part about this knife is the mother of pearl inlaid into the butt of the handle. Mother of pearl is one of my favorite materials just because it's so like otherworldly, it's um, like incandescent, sort of it's pearlescent. Every angle that you move the mother of pearl at, it changes. You get a new view of it. It's just an unending material that looks so pure and clean and mystical. So I really love mother of pearl. I inlaid that into the end of the handle here, and then I also use mother of pearl as a spacer at the bolster, and then of course inlaid the mother of pearl down the spine of the handle on this knife. It was also the first time I ever inlaid uh, anything into the end of a knife handle like this, and I wanted it to look really organic and appear as if the mother of pearl had been pushed in there like wood is a malleable material and look like the wood is kind of coming up over the mother of pearl. Kind of like if you ever see an old tree that has a barbed wire on it or a sign or something like that and the tree is started to overgrow around it. That's what I wanted this to look like, really natural over that. Uh, and it's just really cool and neat to be able to use natural materials like mother pearl and the wood that I use on these knives, which is called Chechen. It's cool to be able to use these materials and try to bring them out to their most beautiful form. And it's really interesting and exciting that these types of materials grow on earth and there's so many different types of them that you can never get bored with it. So it's, it's always exciting to finish them out and see how they turn out when you buff them and oil them and clean them up. Finishing knives, applying different finishes, different grits, different solutions, different textures and everything is one of the most uh, fun parts of knife making for me. So these were um, exciting to make because they were both challenging and just fun to shape and make. So I hope that you've enjoyed looking at them. And again, these are gonna be available at the Blade Show 2019. My table is 6P, so I hope to see you there. Thanks. Did you see that bird? No.